So next we're going to talk about the standard normal distribution where to understand this we should recall back in chapter 2 when we looked at things called z-scores or as we also saw them standard scores where what a z-score did was describe position in a data distribution in terms of distance away from the mean as taken through a number of standard deviations. So for that, we were talking about you know, like how far above or below a specific value was so that we could compare it to a similar thing in a different distribution. And the standard normal distribution is the normal built entirely around z-scores, where we would expect that for most things we get a z-score of zero, because we would expect for a normal distribution to have most things around the mean. And since we're talking about a number of standard deviations, we set sigma for this to be equal to one. Because what we're specifically looking at is things in terms of z-values. And the reason why we do this is because, as we saw in chapter two, for any distribution that is approximately normal anyway, we can reframe it in terms of z-scores and turn the information that we have for something that might be a very strange distribution, as long as it's semi-normal, and talk about it in terms of these z-values instead, where we know a lot about the standard normal, because it's a general pattern, that we may not know about a more specific normal distribution to fit a more general data set, as it's very rare for data to actually fall into the standard normal distribution, but it's not incredibly rare for data to be normal in some other sense. There's lots of things that are either designed to have a normal distribution, like standardized test scores, and there are other things that just happen to, like work with, I think it's heart rates, and other bodily functions. Now there's some argument over how important the normal distribution really is and whether or not we try and find things to fit it because we know a lot about it or if it's actually that common, but it's a different discussion. In any case, the bulk of our work for this chapter is going to be discussing probabilities in terms of normal distributions, where next we're going to see how we can talk about that first with the standard normal.